Money is a vibration, is a very strong energy that we created together. And there is a reason that is in this world, in this reality. For us now can be outer, I'm talking, no? To have a good house, a beautiful car, I don't know, a beautiful dress. Uh, speed up that process of self-reconnection with what? With your soul. They are feeling that something is missing. Like uh, they are not complete, they are not fulfilled. What they are not valuing in that moment? The true self. What is inner value in terms of money? They worked all life and they don't live the real life that they want. You are doing that specific job in your life. Because I need money to pay my bills. And it's true, I'm not telling it's not true. That vibration, that it's still in you. Hello and welcome to our listeners. Today uh, our topic is about money and the deep connection within it. And it's the podcast series of uh, Awakening Podcast. And my name is Diara Sultanova. Uh, and today with me Antonio Siano, also known as a modern shaman, who meets the ancient wisdom and modern techniques plus science. And today our the podcast topic is money vibration. And the first question to Antonio is, well, what is money for you? Thank you, Diara. This is a huge topic. When we talk about uh, money, we need to go a little bit in, the, in our past as human beings. We invented money actually because uh, we want to find a fair way to, um, to give a, a value to Uh, the exchange of something, especially material things, no? So let's think that uh, an example in the past, you want an apple and maybe you can exchange this with me with some other fruit, an example, a watermelon. So we were thinking in order to give a, a fairy uh, value to this exchange that two apples, they were enough uh, for a watermelon. But then the evolution of this is that because it's uh, difficult, you know, sometimes with the things to give the right value. Uh, so we start to give uh, a value in the shells. Actually, actually, we were using the shells as a currency. And the evolution was uh, through other metals before was bronze and then became gold. When gold became uh, very important for us as a a currency of exchange. And so we created the coin and uh, the grams of gold were the value uh, that we were giving and writing even on the coin. This is still right now uh, the method of exchange about, uh, about money. And we are still using this. This is just about uh, something material uh, because actually when we talk about money, there is always a material exchange. It's evolving, this, of course, because now we are uh, using not only physical money, we are using the digital currency. And even there is the new evolution about uh, cryptocurrency. So uh, this uh, method of exchange, it's uh, changing. The currency, it's changing because the technology is advancing and many other things. But again, um, this is the outer value of uh, when we talk about money because an example let's think when you go in a shop and you want to buy uh, a bag you will pay for this right now question for you why you buy that bag because i want to buy that bag because it's valuable for me and i want this to have this bag exactly let's say that most of people an example when they buy a bag is of course because they like that bag first of all And in our society right now, it's very accepted when we talk about branded bag, no? Like luxury things. Why people are buying that kind of things? I know what you are talking about. Uh, and mostly people buy it to show the outer world that they can afford it. The outer value to show exactly. it. Exactly. To show that they can buy something that many other people can't. Exactly. Um, and this is uh, uh, something that uh, it's usual in our, uh, in our society, in our system, when we think about uh, to show 
just the surface of us. But this is not about the inner value because money, it's really related to our inner value. Um, so it's not only something on the surface for our survival. Okay, Money is a vibration, is a very strong energy that we created together. And there is a reason that is in this world, in this reality. But it's related to inner value. So the next question for you is, what is the inner value? Le let's do an example. A actually, it's not an example. It's an exercise. I suggest always, in order to understand better and in a very simple way, what does it mean inner value? to do a list of 10 things that are really priority, starting from the first, going to the 10th thing. Uh, what are your priorities? And this is even a question for you. If you can put in a list, let's say now, because you have no time to do this right now, let's say two or three things that, that they are your first priorities in your life. The first thing, three things that is coming to me right now. Mm -hmm. First, it's family. The second one, self-realization. And the third one is friendship. Mm. Very interesting. And yeah, I, I totally agree, of course, of you, uh, with you. This is you. And because you are already in a self-discovery journey, you are working on yourself. So you already know what are the real valuable things in your life, family and uh, other uh, valuable things. But most of people, if you ask, maybe another person, the first thing is to travel around the world to see the world, an example. Or many other people are totally different. If you do this question, an example to a homeless person will tell you that the first thing is food. He will ask to you today food. It's my survival. And even in some part of the world, if you ask the same question, they will tell you an example, water. Very interesting. I discovered this uh, on myself, you know, when uh, some years ago with, I, maybe you remember, I had a huge company, a multinational in um, an international company, actually. And um, I met this person and he was doing a beautiful project in Burkina Faso in uh, Africa. He was building an hospital for all the woman, pregnant women because every time that they uh, need to go somewhere to have a baby, uh, they need to walk days because the first very uh, near point to take water was hundreds of kilometers from the place that where they are were living. And of course, you need water when in an hospital. And so I participated to this project with my company and uh, we build um, actually a, a solar power plant to give energy uh, for the pump to uh, bring up the, the water. And when uh, they saw the first time the water there, uh, they start to cry. It was a, a very emotional moment. So now that was the moment that I realized that sometimes our priorities, especially uh, in this part of the world, are totally different from other people. And uh, for me, uh, you see how much even the value, the outer value of the things is totally different. It depends where you live. So for us now can be outer, I'm talking, you know, to have a good house, a beautiful car, I don't know, uh, beautiful dresses or whatever. For other people, it's just water, food. And it's very interesting when you talk about that because uh, this is about the material things. But when you start to, to write down 10 things, you will see that more you will write. And at the end of the, this list, and I invite to do this exercise to who is watching this podcast, actually, because it's very interesting. Uh, sometimes you don't have other things and you start to uh, write down something more valuable for you within yourself, not only outer. As you, an example, you talked about family. And I have another question for you. Why do you value at the first place family? Very interesting question. And even it's very hard to answer for this question because it's so basic and... Uh really need to think why. I think because I love this person and it's the closest person 
people uh, in my life. And just because this is my family and it's uh, the, my priority. Well, I, I, I would like to go a little bit deeper about that. What are they giving back? We were talking about an exchange of something. What are they giving back to you? The presence, just because they are in my life and this is enough. There is no exchange. I don't think about exchange with my family. Exactly. Because you already discovered that uh, there is no exchange. It's unconditional. We call this unconditional love, uh, especially when we touch something very deep in us, in ourself. There is no more exchange. There is only something unconditional that can be a, f um, a relative, can be a friend, in a partnership, relationship I'm talking. And sometimes even in a business partnership, you do for your partner something, not expecting anything in exchange just because you, you love that person, you are liking how to work together. We are working together in order to do this, to help people to reconnect with this part of yourself. This is our job. Because when, once you reconnect with your true essence, with your true self, you start to see that everything is unconditional. There is no condition. When there is conditions, it's because it's the outer part of ourself, the ego, what we call ego. When there is ego, there is uh, an exchange. When there is no ego, there is just unconditional love. You do things for unconditional love. Many people that come to our workshop, retreat around the world, or in our shamanic center in Colombia, they are coming because most of times they are already in a, a self-discovery journey. They are already working on themselves. And they want just to improve and have new tools in their life. And of course, shamanic tools, uh, remedies are uh, very, very powerful to reach this. And they came to us uh, because they want to speed up that process of self-reconnection with what? With your soul. What we call a uh, soul or spirit or true essence. This is the um, meaning of the self-discovery journey. People that are coming to our sh workshop, even to our retreat, even they are in a self-discovery uh, journey. It's because uh, in a certain moment of their life, they are feeling that something is missing. Like uh, they are not complete. They are not fulfilled. What they are not valuing in that moment? The true self. The connection with your true essence. Actually, it's not a, a reconnection. I, I don't like to talk about reconnection. I like just to talk about remembering who you truly are. What is inner value in terms of money? Well, let, let's do uh, an exercise. Very, very nice. That I, I'm used to doing uh, sometimes in the workshop uh, and especially into the retreat. Let's say... Right now, of course, let's play with me, please. That uh, you know that in five minutes, you will die. Totally. You will not exist anymore in this reality. I know it can be tough to think about, but let's think. <laughs> I'm very young. I'm, I'm not thinking about death for now. <laughs> of course. Nobody is thinking, but it's part of life. Even because people like, that's why there are a lot of movies talking always the end of the world. No? But we are still here. So let, let's play together. And I will tell you, think that you have unlimited uh, financial resources. Okay? Unlimited. Okay. So you are very rich. You are a billionaire, trillionaire, whatever you wish. <laughs> and uh, I tell you, Diara, you can buy other five minutes to do whatever you want. First question. What you will do with other five minutes? You have totally... If you buy it, 10 minutes, what you will do? I will spend this time with my family. The last minute, 10 minutes, I would uh, say all my words, all the gratitude. I will hug everyone and will spend this ten min last 10 minutes like this. And thinking that I told as before, you have unlimited resources, how much you will pay for that five minutes more? I would pay everything that I have, all 
my real estate, all my cars, all the money. It can be, I don't know, 100,000 billions of dollars. I would pay everything. I would, I would give. Well, uh, of course, I get you. And again, because you are already in a self-discovery journey. So I'm curious to, to, to see what the, who is watching this podcast will do with these unlimited resources and what they will do with five minutes more. Because I did many times this exercise and the reply are very different. Of course, depending from your cultural background, from politics background, but even your actual situation. If you have a family, maybe you want to leave something, some money to your family uh, because they want, uh, you know, uh, in, in this way you will help. Some other people uh, will not give money to their family because they, they have no relationship with the family or friends. And they, they think that they are alone. They have no family, no friends. So, and actually this is the real problem. Because uh, now you are uh, giving value to something that is already valuable for you. So, of course, if you have just 10 minutes, you want just to hug your beloved people, right? Sometimes people feel alone. They have no family. So, again, let's play together. Let's say that you have no family, no friends. Do you will buy these five minutes? I think no. D at this point, what I can tell you, is besides your family and your friends, you are giving to your life, especially the inner value, zero as value. As most people are doing, they walk on the street, they feel just ghost, just a number in the billions of people on this planet. Most of people, they feel that nobody uh, is watching them. Nobody take care of them that you are alive or not, it's not important. And that's why sometimes you are giving value because you know that you have beloved people around to you. But many people, they don't know that they have always somebody they can count on. So you see, sometimes uh, things can be very easy because even you feel alone, you can go in a shop, an example, buying a bag, the bag that we were talking before, <laughs> and maybe you will see another person and you will just smile to that person. Nothing more, right? Just be kind with that person. You don't know the impact that you are doing on that person because maybe that person is exactly the ghost person that I was talking before. It's a person that is working and nobody is watching me. I have no family, no friends. I'm alone in this world. Something is missing. What is the meaning of this? What is the point of all of this? Is that you are not giving value to yourself. You don't know that every single moment in this reality, you are, if you give the right value to yourself, you are impacting on others too, always. Even when you don't give inner value to yourself, you are impacting on others. So even just a smile, you can make the day of that person because she felt to be seen in this world. So I'm not alone. Somebody is looking at me and I'm alive. I'm not just a ghost. So as we were talking you know, about to just a smile, how much can be worth for another person. So when we talk about money, again, we, we can uh, see money only from the outer uh, side, no? So I use money in exchange as a currency to exchange for something that I want. An example, you have for sure, Diara, in your mind, a certain amount that you want to earn in a year or a month, you can mm, just multiply for 12 months, that for you, it's making a comfortable life from this moment to up. Of course, we want always something more, better, of course, and we deserve this. So let, let's do another exercise that can be very interesting. So just let's play with me. Uh, do you have in your mind uh, what can be uh, a right amount to feel comfortable from this amount to up? For now, it's uh, 24,000 euro uh, mm -hmm. per one year. 
Okay. Let's use the calculator because this is a scientific exercise. So let's take uh, 24,000 euro and let's divide for a calendar year in days. So divided 365, 365 days in a year. This is already the value in terms of money that you are giving to one day of your life. But let's divide this for 24 hours. And then, because one, uh, one hour is made by 60 minutes, let's divide for 60 minutes. I will show you the result of this. In terms of what right now, mm -hmm. for you, one minute of your life with the job that you are earning money is worth. And the result is this. 0 0.04 cents of euro. Per one minute of my life. Per one minute of your life. I'm very cheap. <laughs> very, very cheap. Even not one euro. <laughs> exactly. Of course, uh, when we talk about earning money, uh, everybody wants to have millions or not everybody, but most of people wants millions or whatever. But here we are going deep into the inner value. It means that right now, even your job that you are doing, you are giving this value. Each minute that you are spending, even for your job, you are giving this value. If an example, we want to do this exercise only based on the working hour that you are, you, are, you are doing, you can do the same, but you will see that it's not so much different. And this is very important because each of us came from a, a system that uh, teaches us that our life it's made by, okay, you do your study, one day you will have your job, one day you will have your house, then maybe you can find a, a very good job in a company, buy something, survival, you know? But then most of the people realize that at the end of this journey, they worked all life and they don't live the real life that they want. They are just productive machine to do something, but they don't know what. And I think the new generation is so lucky. It's this kind of moment when everything started to change. They are so lucky, but let's be honest. They are even in a very challenging moment because uh, especially through the social media, if you can see very clear, everybody uh, seems that they can become rich like doing TikTok or whatever they are doing on social media. And actually, this is not true. That's why many people are struggling and feeling that mm, they are not enough to do that job. Not true. They are not valuing themselves. They are comparing themselves to the outer world with other people that maybe they really reach. Sometimes it's fake, but maybe they uh, reach the success. And when you see successful people, how they really reach that, you will see very clear always that it's not about money. If you talk with big entrepreneurs, even when you listen sometimes uh, on social media, some interview to uh, Jeff Bezos or many other billionaires in the world, whatever is the, the, the geographic position in the world, they are saying always one thing. They want to achieve something that is not about money. Never. They are valuing something. And what is that something? Sometimes it's a vision. An idea that starts from an intuition. The sparkle, it's always an intuition. You feel that you want to do that. Why you want to do that? You want to do that things because you feel fulfilled. That's the moment of the connection with your inner self. Let's do an example. You like to dance, right? Yes, <laughs> I love it. Let's say that when you are doing this, you don't think about money. If somebody will pay you just to see you dancing, and you are a very good dancer, an example, you are doing this because you like. You feel fulfilled, and it's not about money. Just because you are expressing yourself, you are giving a very important inner value, and there are no money. Exactly what people discover, an example, again, coming to us, our workshop or retreats around the world or in Colombia, when they just understood that they are not giving the right value to themselves, to the inner true self. And what is this value? 
is to be valuable for yourself, to express yourself what you truly are. And sometimes it uh, can become a form of uh, uh, expression in art. So it can be music, can be uh, painting, dancing, or even your job. I always uh, uh, underline this. Wherever is your job, and you are doing just because you need money, you are not valuing yourself. It's not about the job. It's that you are not valuing yourself. It's very important that wherever is your job, you are doing, first of all, for a reason. There is a very deep reason that you are doing that specific job in your life. You too, actually, as an event, event manager with your company. There is a reason that you are doing this. And question to you. I know, the, of course, the reply because we know each other. But are you enjoying when you are organizing an event? Yeah, a lot. Even when it's some obstacles, some difficult moments, I really love to do it because uh, I feel that moment I'm enjoying. And even after, when I look back to my projects, I really admire the project I really did. I, of course, face some moments when I think, oh, maybe it's the moment to move on and start new thing. But the event... Event management is always in my life from my childhood, so I really lo- I like to do it. You are n- not lucky because I don't like this word. You worked on yourself in order to achieve even now, even something more. You were working for a company, then you felt that it's time for you to try something on your own and you create your own company because you like and you enjoy what you are doing. But many people, most of people are just stuck in that work, that, like in a jail. I'm doing this because I need money to pay my bills. And it's true. I'm not telling this. It's not true. And that's the problem of the inner value. And money as a, a specific vibration, a specific frequency, a smell, as a, a specific tunes, if you can hear when you are in a deep meditation moment or when you are in our retreat, in a very deep trance, you can feel this as a specific uh, vibration. What we are doing, we are teaching and sharing our experience with people, teaching how to get in connection with that vibration that it's still in you. It's already in you. You don't need to find outside. It's already in you, that vibration that sometimes we call abundance or money. Vibration is the same thing. Actually, the word abundance for me has a very huge meaning. But let's talk about money. So sometimes we confuse this abundance money. No? But as a specific vibration, when you get in contact with your truly self and you start to value what you truly are, money is just a consequence. Become a consequence. Just because from the sparkle is not about money. The sparkle is because, an example, when you were talking about your family, it's about to be loved and to love, unconditional. You don't think anymore about money when you think about your family. You think about your family and if you can give something material too, why not? It's so nice to make them life uh, more comfortable or because you like just, you want to buy flowers for your mother. And you can do because you have money. You are working with this. That's the point of enjoyment. So even people that are stuck in an example in a specific job, I'm asking, why you are doing this? Oh, because I need to pay bills. Okay, what are you doing for yourself? Okay, you are right. You are contributing to the system. And thank you so much because you are doing for yourself and for the others. So very good. But what are you doing for yourself? Even sometimes with money. Not to do the gratification. I don't like this system about gratification. You don't need gratification. You are not a dog that you do something good and I give you the biscuit. No, you don't need gratification. You need just to give the right value to yourself. So what are you doing for yourself? Even your job right now, it's not what you really want. Okay, you can compensate with other things because the energy of money manifest in your life in many ways, even even unexpected ways. Sometimes 
an example. Let me do a practical example how can be manifested. Let's say that you are in the right path, you are starting to give value to yourself, you enjoy with the friends, but an example friends invite you to go outside uh, to, to have a dinner together in a restaurant and uh, you just have the money to pay your bills because your job for right now is this, but you are okay. And you tell to your friends, guys, no time for me. Let's see tomorrow, we we'll see another moment. Or oh, maybe some of your friends that knows you very well and there is no exchange of nothing. It's an unconditional friendship, right? Without any interest. We'll tell you, you know what? I received some bonus from my company. Come, you will be my guest. This is money energy. It's flowing. It's already done. And you receive this from another perspective. Because money are always flowing in some way around you because our system is built with this kind of currency, the money energy. That, of course, it's an exchange of something, but that can uh, change shapes. So sometimes you are not compensated from, let's say, from the universe in terms of energy with exactly with money, but something that has, in any case, a financial value. Because your friend is paying for the restaurant. And it's true. And it's so nice. Because money are flowing into the restaurant. The people that are working in the restaurant are taking his money and used for other things and so on. This is the money flowing. Antonio, I have a question. How we can activate the money vibration within us? Wow. Uh, it's a huge topic, actually. And there are many ways. Of course, uh, in our workshop, in our retreats uh, around the world, and even in our shamanic center in Colombia, we are doing sometimes uh, some exercise in order to uh, enter in vibration with this. But in this podcast, I want to give um, a very simple exercise because I tried on myself and I found by myself this. One uh, very simple, um, it seems a little bit uh, something silly, no? but it's not. So what you can do uh, when you go back to your home and to our friends that are looking right now, it's take a coin. Let's take, uh, I don't know, $100 or your uh, currency in uh, Kazakhstan, Tienge, I don't know, 10,000 Tienge, whatever. The biggest one. Biggest is b uh, better. So let's do together uh, the last exercise of this podcast. And our friends can do too that are uh, watching is very simple. It seems silly, but uh, um, can be very interesting. So I would ask you uh, if you have any local currency here in Kazakhstan. Do you have with you? Do you have, have some for me and one for you? Yeah, would uh, be very nice. This is for you, Didi. The biggest one. Thank you so much. <laughs> so first of all, let's put this uh, coin in our hand, okay? And we will use both ends on the currency, closing the currency, okay? This is actually just a, a paper, right? It's just paper. But for you and for me, as a value. And we agreed that the value of this is 20,000 tingye. So think about this value, right? In your hands right now. And close the eyes, take a three deep breath, very deep, nose and mouth, Relax, more you can relax, more is better. And you start to think about what you have in your hands. Try to don't think only about the paper, but try to think that this paper has a value for you and many other people. And this paper right now traveled a lot in other hands. How many story this paper can tell you from who has many of these coins and from people that just saw one time this kind of coin, very valuable. So it's not just anymore you, but it's traveling this paper around many other ends. How many hopes in this paper? This paper is like uh, uh, a big book with many pages, with many different stories. And if this paper can talk, will tell you a lot of beautiful and sometimes sad story. 
that right now, in this present moment, are in your hands. Everything that right now you can feel with this very simple exercise is the money vibration. It's a very deep inner process of this. And every moment, now you can open your eyes when you want, every moment that we are thinking about money, it's happening exactly the same process. Mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. That's the vibration of money. <laughs> interesting, right? How do you feel? It's very interesting. What I felt from this practice, it's this vibration is very clear. It's clarity, total clarity. And it's really flow like water. It's not stopping. And when it's flowing, it's become bigger, 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 bigger. And uh, this feeling is very, very interesting. I like this feeling. That's it, Diara. Sonia, thank you for... I this. will give you back the money <laughs> later. Don't worry. <laughs> no, I worry. <laughs> give me now. Antonio, thank you for this beautiful podcast. For Awakening podcast, we spoke really a huge and meaning, meaningful topic. Mm. And thank you that it was very practical. I really like this kind of, of your method that is very clear, practical, less water, everything like by points. So thank you a lot for these knowledges that me and our viewers can use, apply, starting yeah. even by watching the podcast and um, yeah. uh, watching or <laughs> listening. So uh, when you will do these exercises, also share with us on the comments what you felt about money vibrations, what kind of opinion you have about your one minute value. And... Um, yeah, please comment with us, subscribe to our channel to support us. We need your support because as we were talking before, we are uh, growing together. We are sharing what we are with you and we hope that we are giving some new tools that can help to live a better life or as I, I say always, a happy, healthy and wealthy life. Thank you so much, Diara. Antonio, thank you. Thank you a lot.